Anne of Denmark, a royal with a dark side. Numerous monarchs can boast similar achievements, but few were as beloved as Anne of Denmark. As the wife of James VI, who later became King James I of England, and her ability to give birth to many sons that survived to adulthood, Anne became Queen Anne and the Queen Mother in her lifetime. While she's dead now, her supporters succeeded in getting the king to allow her back to England for one year for proper burial. Stay tuned, stay tuned in order to learn more about Queen Anne. Was she murdered? Many people believe Queen Anne was killed because she wasn't very popular and her son died before her. While others believe that she may have died from natural causes or a lifelong illness, her son James inherited the throne after she passed. According to the Duchess of Tyrconnell, Anne's sister Elizabeth Stuart is convinced that it was William III who poisoned Anne back in 1619. Anne was apparently not well liked by many. It is said that she had an affair with her lover, the Duke of Buckingham which might have led to her death. Many believed that Henry VII, her husband, was the one behind the death because he had doubted her innocence, and others thought it might have been James IV, her brother, due to jealousy of their love. People believe that Anne might have been poisoned by one of her own ladies-in-waiting because she refused to allow one of them to marry, while others believe she had been poisoned by Catholics who were upset about what happened to England after Henry VIII decided to cut ties with Catholicism. She was connected to all kinds of plots. Anne of Denmark, who married James VI in 1589, was queen consort to both Henry IV and James I. One of Anne's greatest strengths was her connections. She often used them in her many plots against the people she disliked. She plotted against Christian IV, her brother, and the King of Norway. She notified Frederick's wife and convinced her to plead for his release after he had been arrested for treason and heresy against the Lutheran Church. He finally released her brother after hearing her story of how she was dreaming of other possible disasters, like what they faced before. Another example, she caught one of her servants stealing jewels and punished him so badly that word spread far and wide, discouraging other thieves. Others wanted her gone. Many in France wanted Queen Anne dead and some were even plotting against her. These included Queen Catherine de' Medici, King Henry IV of France, and English exiles at the French court. They saw Anne as an obstacle to their plans for England, so they tried to overthrow her, and it wasn't long before she was overthrown. The Earl of Essex was responsible for the most famous attempt on Anne's life. He first kidnapped her from Richmond Palace in 1601, and then took her back to London for a trial that had been trumped up to ensure a guilty verdict. She didn't respect boundaries. When her husband Christian IV died in 1648, Anne was appointed as regent to their son. Frederick III. All of a sudden, she had to become a mother at age 38 and stepmother to a son almost twice her age. It wasn't long before he started to listen to the advice of his advisors, who convinced him that he needed to give up his throne and possessions. Many people speculated that Anne agreed at the time because she had no children and did not want any. Her son made many enemies. Mary was the mother of King James I, who became King of England. He ruled from 1603 until his death in 1625. Many people in England opposed his rule, and Scotland was a refuge for the throne. Anne's grandson, Charles I, was executed by parliamentarians in 1649, which led to the start of the English Civil War. In 1651, he was beheaded, and this made her other grandson, King Charles II. The new king had a high risk of being executed, too, because of his relationship to Charles I. Behind the Death Sir Thomas Overbury was a lover of the new queen from 1614, and it was speculated that she had him poisoned. A few decades later, people were executed for this, but there was no evidence that she was involved in any way. Conclusion Queen Anne was a powerful woman and had a dark side. As queen, she inflicted terror on her enemies and even her friends. She is remembered today for her ambitious reign in an era of power which had a lasting impact on Danish history. Don't forget to like, comment down below.